Okay, so uh, this chapter is going to be about blocks that you see in the insert tab panel in here. So we will learn how to insert blocks, create blocks, and then work with the block editor to modify blocks. Now it's important to understand why we create blocks in the first place. Now if you see on the screen I have a few blocks here. This is the chair block, this is the table block, and this is the bed block. Now these blocks I just got it from the AutoCAD Design Center. If I click on it, you see I have a number of blocks that I could use. I could use a piano, I could use anything. I just double click on it, hit OK and click insert. Now again, you have so many blocks over here, but again these blocks are limited. Now if you are working for an interior design firm, for example. Now the interior design firm needs so many different types of furniture that the company uses. So what they do is they design the furniture using the CAD program just like this and then they save it as a block onto their library. Now as I said AutoCAD comes with some blocks but they are limited. Now if you're working in an architecture firm so there might be blocks of people, blocks of cars, blocks of furniture, blocks of fixtures, lighting, so many things, okay? And every time you're working on a similar project, you obviously don't want to keep drawing the same thing over and over again. Or even go to an old drawing and find that block and, and copy and paste it in your AutoCAD drawing. So that's why whenever you draw something and you know that you are going to use it in the future, what you do is convert that object or save that object as a block. Now the difference between a block and a regular drawing would be if I scroll my mouse over the block, it highlights the whole block in one go. It highlights the whole block. Highlights the whole block but if I was working in AutoCAD to draw I draw that little bed that you see okay so I draw this and this drawing if I see they're individual pieces it's not like one piece like what you see over here okay so I will draw it in individual pieces and then create a block and save that particular block so I could use it anytime in the future. Now let's see how we go about it and what does the block do and how it helps us. Rather than just working like this and every time go opening the file and copy and paste. So there are a few advantages to working with blocks. For example, I am going to just put this in somewhere over here and for example if, if I am designing the interior of a classroom so I have so many chairs and tables in my classroom right like I will have for example two three four five I can copy all of these again going in this direction okay so I have so many blocks already in my classroom now what blocks would help me do is for instance if there is a change in the block I submit my drawing and my client says hey you know what I don't like uh, uh, your uh, size of the table. I want you to make the table a little smaller so it fits in my classroom because your tables are pretty huge. Now if I were to copy all my blocks I had to go and change every single one of those or I had to delete the whole thing and then go change one and then copy it again so that takes a lot of time 
and a lot of work and if I use the blocks and I uh, define the blocks I would have just had to change the original by the block editor and all the chairs would change in one go I just changed the original and then all the tables would change in one go so that saves a lot of time and it makes my drawing a lot more efficient and a lot more fast so now let's start uh, and see how we first create a block okay now this is already a block I can explode the block by using the X command and hit enter and I will select uh, maybe the chair this time now once I explode it you see it's not a block anymore I could go and select and modify each and every line in that chair okay so I could just draw it myself but I don't want to spend more time drawing it so I have designed this chair just using AutoCAD basic tools from from home panel okay now I will take this drawing and I will convert it into a block and save it onto my computer as a chair so anytime I want to use a computer chair or a chair I can just go into where I save the file and bring it in now let's see how we do it so the command that I would use to create a block is write a block so the command would be W for write and B L O C K for block and I hit enter so in here I will go uh, first pick a point as to where would I like to insert the block when I want to bring it in to another drawing so I'll pick a point right on the corner right here second thing I need to do is select the objects as in what all object do I want to have to be a part of my block select that select everything on the chair hit enter or spacebar and when I'm done with that I have to give it a location as in where do I want to save this file so in the future I can always go and retrieve it so I will click on the icon right there I'm going to save it on my desktop right now and I'll give it a name and call it C H A I R and hit save now again you'll be saving it in the library but I'm just saving it onto my computer you see this little view that popped up there when that view pops up that means your block is already made so I really don't even need this drawing anymore so what I could do is just close this file Okay, file is closed. Actually, I don't want to save it, so I'll just hit no. So I'm going to go file, new. I'm going to pick up my same tutorial I arch, hit open, hit continue. I'll go to the model space. Now, this is a totally new drawing. Okay, just imagine that I made that chair like a month ago and now I have the project and I need to bring that chair in this drawing so I will go in insert tab and I'll go insert and I will look for the block as in where I saved it so I saved it on to the desktop and I called it a chair which is right here so it saves as an AutoCAD drawing hit open and hit OK see when I hit OK the chair comes in at the same exact point that I used as my insertion point and I click on there so now if you see it's one piece okay so I converted that chair into a block from a basic AutoCAD drawing using my basic tools and now I inserted it into my new drawing now I will even have to probably uh, make another block for the table and I could again go here and insert the table okay 
but I'm not doing the table right now I'm just going to work with the chair so just imagine there are some tables over here as well so what I do right now I'm going to copy these blocks of chairs copy it this way okay and I submit this drawing now again my client says hey you know I don't like the chair size maybe your chair size is not right so I want you to go modify the chair now if I didn't use the block I had to pretty much delete all of these change the chair and then copy it again but I was smart enough to use a block and insert my chair as a block for my future use so I will I can go directly in the block editor or I will just double click onto my chair and the chair it shows edit block definition I just hit OK the chair is selected now it opens up a new window and all I see is the chair now as my client asked me to make the chair smaller I go ahead and make the chair smaller okay I could even modify maybe the backrest it depends whatever he asked me to do so I make these changes and I close the block editor it will ask me save changes to the chair I say save the changes and you see what happened every single chair got updated in my drawing in like one second okay so this is the use one of the important uses of using a block second important use is you can always go and uh, retrieve your block for any drawing and throughout your life you could use that chair if you want it so every big company has their own designs and own blocks where you would have to go insert these blocks and it's really easy all you have to do is go to insert look where you save the block and then hit open so uh, it's not just like you have to insert the block you will even have to make the block I'm gonna make another block really quick now this is the table and I have my computer screen and a keyboard I know this is one really ugly computer screen and keyboard but I want to convert this thing as a block now how do I do it don't forget the command W B L O C K hit enter select the point where you wanted to insert it maybe here select the object select the whole object enter don't forget to give it a path I want to save it on my desktop and I'm gonna call it a table and hit save hit OK you saw the little window that popped up there and you are done so I can erase this now I don't need it anymore so now I would go in and insert the table that I just made by clicking the insert going to browse scrolling down looking for the table hit open hit OK and then click on the screen so now if I go in here you see everything is one piece just like the chair so now what I could do is copy these and then modify it in one go by clicking double clicking onto the table see you have chair and table I pick the table hit OK then I will make the change close the block editor save the changes boom now I have updated all the tables in just one second so I hope you understood this exercise again with questions feel free to ask make sure that you are sharing this video with your friends who are trying to learn the same thing and uh, I hope to see you in my next class
Thank you.